I wanted to give you a few tips on uh, ways to be uh, become uh, creative with your scale patterns. For example, now I've chosen the second position of the major scale. So if we choose, uh, for example, um, the the A, D, and G string to uh, repeat those. And then on the return, then we repeat each string, so it sounds something like this. Let's take an example like this, where I um, play through the notes in the scale, and then at some point I um, I start using the phrase that I um, that I created, and it's pretty much just, but speed it up. It sounds really cool. Then it's speed it up. It sounds really cool. I think so. Um, so what happens really uh, slow is just. I can also do this where I do the return on the A string, so... Where I do the return on uh, both the D and to the A string. The next thing I can do is uh, I can then be begin to add a few chops. This is a really cool way. Um, if I start to connect licks. So if we say that this is our that our little speeding, speeded phrase, our little uh, alternate picking phrase, then I uh, connect the phrase with, with a lick. Uh, for example, something like that. Um, uh, and an E minor arpeggio. Uh, then then uh, this is a really cool way to incorporate licks that I wasn't using maybe normally. So if I'm phrasing here something like this and I get used to if I get if, if I get used to using the the alternate picking stuff um, phrasing, then uh, as soon as I connect those um, with with another kind of chop, something like sweep picking, um, licks, then it's much easier to incorporate uh, really cool chops that I wasn't using before. So as an example, it could be doing something like this. So slowly what is going on is just... I bend one up, one whole step, then add one half step more and then release. And um, I actually play alternate picking in the first part in the A on the E and the A string. And then I uh, continue it into a sweep picking pattern. So, uh, and then we have a, a longer and, and even way more cool lick. 